Hey guys, what's up? This is Apple All Pro. In today's video, I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on uh, how to delete your internet browsing history permanently. So, um, really, there's only one program, and uh, why I'm showing you this is maybe because you've been on um, an illegal site or um, that, that you might get in trouble for, or any nasty sites. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, so I don't want to say it. And uh, any other torrents, so. Uh, it's basically to keep you out of trouble, and uh, it's it really the only way you can actually recover your internet files are internet um, history files are by going to temp files in your browsing. Well, it's in some kind of folder in um, uh, in any of the. I think it's in my computer somewhere. I have no idea because you, really you don't know how to find it. It's a little difficult, but uh, really I'm going to be showing you how to do it the easy way. And uh, so yeah, it's basically to keep you out of trouble in any way or circumstances you might get in trouble for any other, anything you've been on the internet. It deletes your, uh, so first of all I'm just going to tell you what it deletes, uh, which browsing data it will delete and which, for which browsing, um, uh, browsing the software. So it deletes for Google Chrome, for Safari, uh, for Internet Explorer, uh, um, I'll be right back. So basically, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, again. So it deletes for internet. It deletes your temp, temp files, history, cookies, and autocomplete from form history and index.dat files. So basically, from temporary files and cookies and index.dat files, it will recover your internet browsing history. And which so what this program allows you to do? It's it's called Preform uh, C Cleaner. So what this program allows you to do is delete your browsing history, cookies, and our complete form history and index that, that file for Internet Explorer, for Firefox, for Google Chrome, for Opera, for Safari, for Windows, Recycling Bin. It also deletes stuff from your Recycling Bin, recent documents, temporary files, and log files from your Windows, and your reg registry cleaner, advanced features to remove unused and old hit registry entries. So um, this is the website where you should be getting it from. Uh, this is where you can get your uh, C cleaner from. I'll put the link in the description. And what you really gotta do is tap on or click on download. And uh, you wanna scroll down. It should say free C cleaner free. There's no support. Forget that. It does not matter. You wanna click on file hippo or filehippo.com. Or preform.com. I'll just go for file hip for the first one. Actually, I'll leave at this part. I'll just put uh, this link in the description. And you, what you want to click is uh, go click the latest version. So you want to da download that. And I'm not going to do that because I already have it. So I'll put the link in the description for that. And uh, just cancel that out. Now you want to look for your. Um, uh, C Cleaner, wherever you saved it, you're gonna have to install it, and once you download it, so it will ask you to uh, have a shortcut, a shortcut icon on your desktop. Uh, I do have it, but it's in a, in a folder. You wanna, so there's my folder, there's my C Cleaner. You wanna click, double click on that, and uh, it should say if you're on Win, Win, if you're running Windows Vista and Windows uh, 7, I think it should ask you for this. So when you click continue. Cancel that out. So, and you want to uh, go to, uh, I think it's, wait, I'm just check. Um, yeah, so you want to go into options, then you want to click on settings. You want to scroll down, and you want to change your language to English. If you, well, or whatever language you want, really doesn't matter, but anyways, once you're going to want, don't do it, uh, I just did automatically check for updates and see if you know. And so you want what you want to do is click on secure file deletion. So it's lower, but it uh, really cleans your computer really much. I'm serious. Then you want to click on very complex overwrite uh, three five passes. You want to click on that, and then it should these two should be checked. And local C disk should be checked. Uh, don't make sure you uncheck this. Maybe you have your recovery files in there, so you don't want to delete that. Okay. And you want to click on this also. Um, wipe MFT free space. That will also allow your uh, computer to run a little faster than usual. Okay, now you just click on cleaner, and then you can just um, uh, check or uncheck some of the stuff that you don't want to lose from here. 
you can go to other applications such as Firefox, Mozilla, or you know, Safari, or Google Chrome here. So I don't take off of Google Chrome because I don't want to delete any from that because I don't really go on stuff on this browser. Uh, I just go on normal stuff like watch um, you know, movies or whatever. Um, and yeah, that's it. So you can check or uncheck uh, any of the stuff you want or keep or don't want. And then you want to click on um, run clear, uh, run cleaner. And uh, it should um, take some time, but it should clean almost everything. I'll be right back when it's done or when it's about to be done. So guys, as you can see, uh, it is um, halfway through, almost actually not full, but uh, again, I'm just going to show you a bit how uh, how it should look like and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Really, I just you know I'm going to so one more thing I would like to clarify. Um, sometimes when you're browsing on a tab, uh, when you're browsing on a uh, internet browser such a uh, one, uh, uh, especially the one that you want to delete uh, browsing history from. Uh, using CCleaner, so when you're during during the process of the CCleaner, you cannot browse on the browser that you want to delete history. So yeah, so that's the only thing I want to clarify. So basically, so I'll just give you an example. If you're deleting your Internet Explorer's uh, temporary files, history, cookies, or recent uh, typed URLs, index that files, last download location, autocomplete form, history, and save passwords. If you're doing that, then you cannot browse on that uh, that uh, uh, specific uh, specific um, browser. You cannot do that. Okay, so again, it is uh, almost done. And um, uh, I think I'll let it just do its thing. Or if you want to skip the video, you can, but I won't skip it. Cause I'm cool like that. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it is completed. So um, it should tell you the things that you that it has deleted: Internet files, um, Internet Explorer temporary files, Internet files. Internet Explorer history, Internet Explorer cookies, Internet Explorer index that that file, uh, Windows Explorer the, uh, thumbnail cache, uh, system, system temporary file system, memory dump system, Windows lock file system, Windows error reporting um, system uh, font cache, Safari uh, Internet cache, Internet history cookies, uh, save form information, Internet Skype multimedia, Adobe Flash Player, multimedia Windows Media Player. Um, Windows MS search okay so that's all you do and then in case there are some files that missed you can just click analyze and uh, it will show you some of the files that are still there that it can delete so as you can see it, it can still delete these then you can just click run clear after that so it can delete these I'm not going to do that because I don't really care but if you do care that much then you can alright guys so thanks for watching uh, it was a short sweet video not short but still sweet thank you for watching and peace out